Hi all. So today we are going to discuss about the uh, different types of algorithms uh, to find out the GCD. So to mon uh, in the last sessions we discussed about uh, different types of uh, methods, uh, different types of uh, divisors to the numbers. So find out the divisors to the numbers and finding the common divisors to the numbers and uh, find the greatest common divisor. So actually in the number theory this greatest common divisor a method is very very important and for this we are having different types of algorithms so in the morning session or in the off, uh, last session we seen that only a division method called finding the divisors finding the common divisors and finding the latest greatest common divisor so uh, to find that gcd to find that greatest common divisor to find that greatest common divisor we can have a uh, different types of um, algorithms are there so one is division algorithm and another one is Euclidean algorithm, prime factorization algorithm and GCD on linear equations algorithms. So these are all uh, different types of algorithms. But now we are going to discuss, we are going to start the Euclidean algorithm. So Euclidean algorithm is a simple method of algorithm to find the greatest common divisor, to find the greatest common divisor. And here, see, uh, the greatest common divisor of any two numbers, greatest common divisor of any two numbers that is a and b. So let r minus a. So r is nothing but uh, you can say that relational number, relational number. You can take any of the numbers. So that may be the integer. So r minus 1 equals to a and let r 0 equals to b. So this is the, suppose you can take this as a 2 and this will be the 3. So like the way you can take any of the numbers and compute successive quotients and reminders successive quotients and reminders so uh, successive and common uh, quotients and reminders are looking like this formula so here r i minus 1 equals to q i plus 1 into r i plus r i plus 1 this is all you can say that this is a reminder r this is a reminder r and this is a quotient this is the quotient and this is also a reminder so this is the reminder plus one you can say that reminder plus one and here this is the reminder of i so i indicates integer that is positive integer i is positive integer and the q quotient quotient you can say that so quotient i plus one suppose you can have that quotient two so the value of uh, q i plus one is three so like the way you can write and r minus r i minus 1 so this is r i minus 1 so that is i equals to 3 then i minus 1 equals to 2 so that r 2 the number of real number 2 or coefficient 3 so like the way you can consider it so to find out this euclidean algorithm we have this formula so this is all the formula in terms of a technical so but you can say this a equals to q into b plus r you can simply you can say that a equals to q into b plus r so this is the way you can simplify this formula so this algorithm is basically to find out gcd basically to find out gcd greatest common user. so so as for this for i equals to 0 1 2 until some reminder rn plus 1 is to be 0 so the last non zero reminder rn is then the greatest common user of a and b so here we can say that the whatever the value uh, is going to be uh, find out as last reminder to be zero that means the last value uh, the last value of a reminder is getting zero as soon as the reminder getting zero as soon as the reminder getting zero then the value is to be considered as greatest common user the value is to be considered as greatest common user that means when you are doing the successive sequences at most at last uh, you are getting a reminder as to be zero so that reminder has to be zero before the sequence that is the greatest common user we'll go with uh, a successive formula like this so euclidean algorithm so euclidean algorithm so this is one of the most method most efficient method for finding the greatest common divisors of two numbers is called as 
Euclidean algorithm. So here Euclidean is the scientist name. So he has developed this uh, formula and he has uh, solved these problems using this formula. So that's why this algorithm is known as Euclidean algorithm. So in this algorithm, it consists of doing sequences. The name itself doing sequence means continuous operations of divisions. Continuous operations of division. Suppose you can take like simple. Suppose sixteen. You will. You can have so successive successive sequence of divisions means you can divide like this way. So two h or like this. So two sixteen two eight zero two four zero two two zero. So these are all you can say that successive sequences of divisions. So you can say that doing sequence of divisions with the remainder until the remainder is zero. So as soon as you will get the zero, the before the sequence of the zero, the value is to be the greatest common divisor. The value is to be greatest common divisor. So uh, the formula is a equals to q into p plus r. So in the previous slide, the previous slide you can see. Here, this is all technical term. You can write uh, in the technical term. You can write with the help of real numbers, uh, uh, integers. So, but here you can modify that as a simple formula. A equals to q into b plus r. A equals to q into b plus r, where a comma b, a comma b are both, a comma b are both positive integers. Positive. Integers, positive integers, and Q is the quotient, quotient of the number, quotient of the number, and R is the remainder, R is the remainder, R is the remainder. So you can use this formula instead of using this one. Instead of why you can say that instead of means this is all technical term. You can substitute, you can substitute any of the value in this. Value in this uh, formula, so real number, quotient, value. So there you can substitute this, but you can calculate them with this simple formula. So here we'll see. So we will compute example. We'll take it as we'll compute a GCD of thirty six comma one thirty two. Thirty six comma one thirty two. We'll take an example. So here, how can we see that? So as soon as uh, so, what is the motive actually? As soon as the remainder gets zero, as soon as the remainder gets zero, the sequence before that uh, remainder to be zero is the greatest one, greatest common divisor. You can say that. So continuous sequences for operations where you will get the remainder is to be zero. The previous step, the previous sequence is to be the previous number is to be the greatest common divisor. You can say that. So now here you can see. So we'll see this uh, example. Find out the GCD of thirty six comma one thirty two. Find the GCD of thirty six comma one thirty two with the help of this one. A equals to Q into B plus R. So we need to remind our one thing. We need to remind one thing. So whenever we are doing sequence of divisions, sequence of divisions. So we need to use this formula. We need to use this formula and make sure that. Is to be in this formula. Make sure that this to be in this formula. So how we can see here? So before that, thirty six is a divisor of one thirty two. Thirty six is a divisor of one thirty two. So now you can see. So first of all, the first step is to divide one thirty two by thirty six. So how we can divide thirty six? One thirty two by thirty six means one thirty two by thirty six. See here. So for thirty six. How so? Thirty six threes are thirty six threes are one out eight. So the remainder is twenty four. The remainder is twenty four. So here you can see this remainder R equals to twenty four. And here three three is nothing but quotient. So here Q equals to three, right? And so we need to we need to make this as in this formula, right? So a equals to q into b plus r. So whatever the value. So here a equals to one thirty two, right? So one thirty two equals to q into b. So q is what three. So three into and b is what thirty six. So b is what thirty six. This is the GCD of a comma b, as we said. So this is the b value and this is the a value. 
So this is the B value, this is the A value. So A equals to 132. And so 132 equals to 3 into 36. 3 into 36. The, this is the B value and this is the A value. This is the A value and this is the Q value. So th 3 into 36 and the remainder is what? Remainder is what? 24. Remainder is what? 24. Remainder is 24. So we should we should uh, make this statements we should make this statement to be in this formula a equals to q into b plus r so here the step is what 132 equals to 3 into 36 plus 24 3 equal to 30 uh, 132 equals to 3 into 36 plus 24 so here again we need to do one thing so the 36 is also divisible and 24 is also divisible so we need to take this we need to take this and uh, we need to form this into again this a equals to q into b plus r again q into b plus r so we need to make this integer into this format so how uh, we'll see this how we'll see this so here to take 36 to take 36 and divide it by the remainder so you can take 36 the previous slide you can see here 36 here 36 is the 36 is what so 36 is b so 36 b is to be divided it by the remainder 24 so 36 is to be divided by the remainder 24 from the previous one so see how so this is the 36 right 36 and 24 right so 36 is the value 24 and you can see 24 1 is 24 and 36 24 minus so you will get 12 you will get 12 so so you can divide uh, 36 with 24 so you can write this step as the formula a equals to q into b plus r so here a equals to what 36 a equals to 36 and b equals to what 24 right so b equals to 24 and uh, 1 is the coefficient so q equals to 1 and uh, reminder and reminder so remainder is what remainder is 12 so coefficient is 1 and remainder is 12 so done we uh, we did this uh, statement to be a equals to q into b plus r formula so now what is the value 36 equals to 1 into 24 plus 12 1 into 24 plus 12 so here 36 is the a value because every time we need to check this is in the format of a equals to b into q plus r a equals to b into q plus r so we need to make sure that the statements so here a equals to q into b plus r so this is the q and this is the b and this is the r reminder right okay fine after getting this one next what we need to do so we divide 24 we divide 24 by 12 we divide 24 by 12 so here what what we will get so we need to 24 we need to divide 12 we need to uh, divide 24 by 12 so what is the value 12 to say 24 the value is to be 0 so here see the value 24 is a value 24 is a value and 12 is b value 12 is b value and 2 is the coefficient Two is the question what you will get here and zero is the zero is the reminder zero is the reminder zero is the reminder so as per the algorithm says as per the algorithm says what as soon as you will get a reminder of zero as soon as you will get reminder as to be zero the reminder from the previous step we know that the statement doing sequences as in the previous slide here as in the previous slide sequence of divisions sequence of divisions we are doing sequence of divisions we are doing sequence of divisions the remainder will get zero as soon as you let the remainder zero the previous step is the greatest common divisor the previous step is the greatest common divisor of original two numbers original two numbers this is the way you can uh, have to do so every time we need to make sure that the statement is to be in the formulaic the formulaic is nothing but a equals to q into b plus r a equals to q into b plus r so like the way you can derive this problem so find out the gcd of 
132 of 36 equals to the greatest common is the 12 uh, 12 is getting uh, before the remainder gets 0 before getting a remainder 0 the 12 is getting the last sequence so we can say that gcd of 132 comma 36 equals to 12 right so like the way you can uh, do it so 36 i mean uh, we are every time we are doing uh, like sequence of steps with the formula like a equals to q into b plus r a equals to q into b plus r only in that format only you can you have to do that okay so we'll see the next example actually so consider this uh, gcd of 225 comma 120 so how can we see this so gcd of 120 comma 225 so here you can see this 120 comma 225 so what will what will get so actually we need to make the two numbers into be a form a equals to q into b plus r a equals to q into b plus r we need to make uh, we need to make sure that the statement is to be in this form right so a equals to q into b plus r as uh, as we said in the previous step so 225 is the 225 is the value of a and b is the 120 b is the 120 so so we can uh, we'll, we'll calculate so a equals to what q into b plus r so a equals to 225 equals to q into b plus r so we need to divide them how can we divide 120 so 120 is the, uh, 225 so if you divide 225 with 120 what will get 120 and uh, re remaining thing 105 right 105 so this is the remainder r and this is the quotient 1 and this is the uh, b value and this is the a value right this is the b value sorry this is the b value and this is the a value right so this is the a value and this is the b value so now you can see here so a equals 225 equals to 1 into 120 plus 1 into 120 plus 105 so now this is the b value so 120 is on the 105 so again what we need to do we need to uh, divide 105 with 120 so 105 with 120 so what we will get 105 once 105 and again 15 again 15 right so 15 this is the quotient and this is the reminder this is the quotient under this is the reminder right so this is the value of 120 that is the a value and this is the b value right so we need to make sure that a equals to b uh, q into b plus r a equals to q into b plus r so here you will get what so q is nothing but 1 into so b is what so 105 plus and the remainder is what 15 so 15 you need to get right so after that what you need what will uh, you need to do so again you need to do a equals to a equals to i mean so a is the value 120 equals to 1 into 105 plus 15 here right 1 into 105 plus 15 but so here where 15 is the remainder value or under 105 is the b value 105 is the b value and 1 is the quotient value and 120 is the a value right so still uh, we are not getting a remainder zero so you can write like this also you can get right uh, like this also but you can write again we need to do in the format of a equals to q into b plus r so what you need to do here the remainder is 15 the remainder is 15 so we need to uh, divide that remainder 15 with uh, 105 so how can we do so a equals to here a equals to 1 into 1 into 105 plus 15 right so here 120 a value so 1 into 105 plus 15 so what you will get so 15 is the divisor of 105 so you need to divide 15 with 105 so you can divide them 105 so how will get 15 6 uh, 90 15 7 uh, 105 directly so 15 7 105 
so direct what will get zero as the remainder so a equals to mean a equals means a equals to here one zero five equals to a, a means one zero five equals to q into b plus r q means what quotient seven seven into b is what b is fifteen plus zero b is fifteen plus zero so as soon as we'll get the remainder is to be zero as soon as we'll get the remainder is to be zero so now you can say that the previous step the previous step 15 is the, the previous step 15 is the greatest common divisor of those two numbers greatest common divisor of those two numbers like the way you can have to do it right so here only one step you need to do so we need to do everything uh, whatever the reminder gets something no, uh, rather than uh, rather than zero we need to uh, take a step for again a equals to q into b plus r so from here what you need to do so he here you can write like this so this is r this is a right and this is b right and this is r remainder right so again what you need to do you need to divide b with uh, r you need to divide b with uh, R. So B is nothing but 120. So you can write 120 uh, divide with 105. So you need to 105. You need to have 105. So 105 ones 105. So now what you'll get 15, right? 15. So you need to make the continuous statement like this way. So here A equals to what? So this is A and this is B. So A means 120 equals to. So you need to write like this type 120 equals to q into b so 1 into 105 1 into 105 plus the remainder value is what 15 1 into 105 plus 15 so like that we need to write okay after writing this one after writing this one what you need to do still we are not getting a remainder is to be zero still we are not getting remainder is to be zero so again what we need to do this is a reminder or and this is a b value and this is a value right and this is q value right so now what you need to do you need to divide b with r you need to divide b with r b with r so what is the value of b 105 right 105 and the remainder is what 15 so 15 7 is 105 15 7 105 so that the remainder gets zero the remainder gets zero so as soon as remainder gets zero the previous step so you can write like this statement so continuous of this statement continuous of this statement what you need to do, write 105 equals to so this is the a value and this is the b value and this is the quotient value and this is the remainder value right so you can reform uh, this statement so a equals to q means what so 7 into on b is what 15 plus 0 so now here we got a reminder zero so that uh, 15 we can say that the last sequence the previous sequence is 15 is to be the greatest common divisor of 120 comma 225 120 comma 225 like the way you can say that so you can you have to see every time we need to make that formula is to be in the a equals to q into b plus r so like the way only you can do it so here you can see another example GCD of 30 comma 48 GCD of 30 comma 48 so here 30 is so 48 equals to you can say that a value and 30 equals to b value 30 equals to b value so how you are going to uh, see so first of all you can divide 30 48 so 31 30 and 48 uh, 18 right so you can have 18 so again what you need to do so the remainder is 18 and uh, b value is 30 and a value is 40 right so now you need to reform the statements how so we can write 48 equals to 1 into 30 plus 18 1 into 30 plus 18 so now here here this is the b value and this is the a value and this is the remainder value right so now what you need to do again this is not is to be zero so we need to uh, 
continue the statement to be to becomes a zero right as soon as the reminder gets zero then previous step is going to be greatest common divisor so for that we need to make this to be zero so now you can divide 30 uh, with 18 so how you are going to do 18 one ja 18 and uh, reminder is what 12 reminder is what 12 so you can write so this is the coefficient and this is the uh, this is the a value and this is the b value and this is the reminder value this is the reminder value right so how can you form this statement again so 30 equals to 30 equals to 30 equals to what 1 into 18 plus 1 into 18 plus 12 1 into 18 plus 12 so 12 1 into 18 plus 12 so 12 is the reminder 12 is the reminder and the 18 is the b value and 1 is the quotient and 30 is the a value, right? So still we are not getting any 0. Still we are not getting any 0. So that what we need to do, we need to divide, we need to divide 18 by 12. So we need to divide 18 by 12. So what you will get 12, 1, 12. And 18 minus 12 is nothing but 6. 18 minus 12 is nothing but 6. So here the remainder is 6 and the quotient is 1. Uh, 1 and 18 is a value and 12 is b value right so reform this statement so, so re reform this statement so what we will get so b 18 equals to 18 equals to 1 into 1 into 12 1 into 12 plus the remainder is what 6 remainder is what 6 so like the way you need to form the statement 1 into 12 plus 6 right so now here 8 a equals to 18 and the quotient is 1 and uh, 12 is what b value and uh, last reminder is what 6 right now still we are not getting any 0 still we are not getting any reminder to be 0 so again what we need to do we need to divide a reminder with uh, b so we need to divide 12 with uh, 6 so how can we divide so 6 and 12 6 to the 12 and 0 6 to the 12 and 0 so you can uh, reform this statement like this way so it uh, mean so a equals to a means 12 a equals to 12 and 1 into 6 1 into 6 plus 1 into 6 plus 0 i mean 2 into 6 here yeah. 2 is the quotient right so you need to uh, write 2 as a 2 into 6 plus 0 so total what uh, 12 into 6 plus 0 so here the remainder gets 0 the remainder gets 0 so the previous i mean last sequence of this 0 is to be the greatest common divisor so 6 is the greatest common divisor 6 is the greatest common divisor of gcd of 30 comma 48 gcd of 30 comma 48 so like the way you have to do this uh, problem like that we have to do this problem so you can take uh, another example also you can take another example also so we'll see so so every time we need to make the formation as to be in the a equals to q into b plus r right so we need to form like that so suppose you can take any example gcd of so I can write here GCD of you can take example another example. So GCD of like 24 comma 40 24 comma 56 you can take 24 comma 56 you can take. So we'll see uh, what is the greatest common divisor of 24 comma 56. Okay. So actually in normal way what we what you can say that for the divisors for the 24 we have some divisors. And for the 56, we have some divisors, right? But about them, all the divisors, we need to find out common divisors. We need to find out common divisors. So among the common divisors, we are going to take one greatest common divisor. Among that, all the common divisors, we are going to take one greatest common divisor, right? So how can we see? So 24 equals to 56. Here, A equals to what? A equals to 56. And B equals to what? 24. A equals to 56. And B equals to 24, right? 
So now how can we divide? So look at here. So a equals to b into q plus r, r else q into b plus r, whatever it may be. We can write any of the formula. a equals to q into b plus r or b into q plus r, whatever it may be. But only thing is you need to remind that q is nothing but coefficient value and b is nothing but a small value and reminder value and a value. So here a value is what 56 equals to. So how can we divide? So 56, 24, uh, 56 divisible. 24 to the 48, right? Uh, 56 minus 48 equals to 8, right? So 8. Now you can write. So 56 equals to Q means what? So Q is nothing but quotient 20, uh, 2. Quotient is 2 and int B is what? 24. B is what? 24 plus reminder is what? 8. Reminder is what? 8. So in this statement, we are not getting any 0. In this statement, we are not getting any 0. So that we need to make another statement. We need to make another statement. From here, the 24 is the A value and 24 is the A value and 8 is the reminder value. 8 is the reminder value. Here, 24 is the B value, right? And 56 is the A value, 24 is the B value and 8 is the reminder value, right? Now what you need to do, you need to divide with the A, divide with the, uh, 24 with the 8, divide 24 with the 8. So how can we see? So 8, 8, 24. 8, 24. So, 8, 3 is a 24. Right? 8, 3 is a 24. So, 24 minus 24 is 0. So, that 3 is the reminder. Uh, sorry, 3 is the quotient and 0 is the reminder. Right? 0 is the reminder. So, now, uh, reform this statement. So, how can we write uh, 24 equals to 24 equals to 2 into 24. Sorry, 24 equals to 8 into 8 into 3 plus 8 into 3 plus 0. I mean, this is 3 uh, here 8 equals to what? So 8 equals to B value and 3 is quotient value and 0 is the remainder value. Right? So as soon as we'll get 0, as soon as we'll get 0, the remainder, uh, the previous sequence, the previous value of the sequence is to be the greatest common divisor. So here, B value, what is the last sequence value B? So B equals to 8. So that 8 is the greatest common divisor of these two values. These two values 24, comma 56. Like the way you can say that. Okay. So every time what you should do, you should you should make sure that uh, every statement is to be in the uh, form A equals to Q into B plus R. A equals to Q into B plus R. So we need to make sure that they are all in the format, okay? Right. So again, we'll take another example. Again, we'll take another example. ZCD of. So take a ZCD of ZCD of like one not five comma five seventy five. 105 comma 575. We need to find the GCD of 105 comma 575. So this is somewhat this is somewhat uh, uh, complex uh, numbers rather than this previous we'll discuss. So now we'll see GCD of 105 comma 575. So you can take this is the B value and this is the A value, right? This is the E value and the, that is the A value. So how can we make that statement? We need to form that A equals to Q into B plus R. So you need to make that statement into a equals to q into b plus r. So first of all, you need to divide them. 105, 575. Right. So 105, 4, 105, 5, 0, 105, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, and 5. Right. Only 50 is the reminder. This is the reminder. This is the reminder. And this is the quotient value. And this is the A value. And this is the B value. Right. So for that, we need to form this statement. So A equals to 
क्यू इंटू बी प्लस आर ये इक्वल्स टू क्यू इंटू बी प्लस आर सो हियर ये इक्वल्स टू वॉट फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव इक्वल्स टू क्यू मीन्स वॉट फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू वन आट फाइव फाइव इंटू वन आट फाइव प्लस रिमाइंडर इज वॉट फिफ्टी रिमाइंडर इज वॉट फिफ्टी राइट सो फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव इक्वल्स टू फाइव इंटू वन आट फाइव प्लस फिफ्टी सो दट वॉट यू विल गेट द रिमाइंडर इज फिफ्टी राइट ओके सो बट इन दिस स्टेटमेंट वी आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी रिमाइंडर इज टू बी जीरो राइट सो फॉर दैट वॉट यू नीड टू डू वी नीड टू टेक दिस एज ए रिमाइंडर एंड दिस एज ए बी वैल्यू हियर and this is the quotient value and this is the a value right so now what you need to do we need to divide b value we need to divide b value with a remainder we need to divide b value with a b value with a, we need to divide b value with a r b value with r every time you need to do this step only you need to divide b value with r so what is the r value 50 what is the r value 50 and b value is what 105 The value is what one zero five, right? So divide it. So fifty into two one zero zero, and here five is the remainder. Five is the remainder. So five is the remainder. Five is the remainder, and two is the quotient, and one zero five one zero five is the a value, and fifty is the b value, right? Fifty is the b value, right? So now make this statement as a formula. So here la. How one not five means a value so one not five equals to one not five equals to so q into b so q is nothing but two into b is what fifty plus b is what fifty plus and the remainder is what five remainder is what five remainder is what five so still we are not getting any uh, still we are not getting any remainder is to be zero remainder is to be Zero. So what we need to do? We need to divide again b with r. We need to divide again b with r. So what you need to do? So five is the remainder, and fifty is the b value, right? Fifty is the b value. So we need to divide uh, remainder uh, five with b value. So how can we do that? So five and fifty. So five one zero. Five hundred fifty, right? So now this is the zero. Remainder is to be zero, and quotient is to be ten, and fifty is the a value, and five is the b value, right? So now you can reform this statement. You can reform this statement like. So how can we reform this statement? So you can write like this. So fifty equals to fifty equals to. Five into ten, five into ten plus zero, five into ten plus zero, five into ten plus zero. So this is the zero remainder, and here five is the b value, and ten is the quotient value, ten is the quotient value, and fifty is the a value, right? So as soon as we get remainders to be zero, as soon as we get remainder to be zero, then the previous step, the last sequence of this. statement is to be the greatest common one greatest common divisor so 5 is the you can say that gcd of gcd of 105 comma 575 equals to 5 the greatest common divisor of 105 comma 575 equals to 5 so like the way you can see you can see that right so like the way you can do the different types of problems so the main theme of Euclidean algorithm is to simplify the statements. Simplify the statements with the divisions. So by doing simple divisions, you will get the simple form. By doing simple form, you will get the simple sequence. By getting the simple sequence, you will get the remainder is to be zero. So once you will get the remainder is to be zero, the sequence of the previous step, the sequence of the previous step, is going to be the greatest common divisor. Is going to be the greatest common divisor. So, like the way you can have it. So, we'll see another example, uh, somewhat uh, complex example. We can see. So, like GCD of GCD of one to one to five zero comma and twenty two one to five zero. 
to 1 to 5 0. So 1 to 5 0 if, if they are giving like these problems if, you are, if they are giving like this problem so what you need to do so you need to definitely you need to make sure that these are in the form. So first of all you need to uh, divide with them to 1250 into 2125 0. So as soon as I will know that uh, 12 table you can see so 12 changer so 12 uh, 5 12 one so you can write 1250 right so 1250 so the remainder is what 5 0 and 7 and here so 8 right so 8750 is the remainder is the remainder and this is the quotient this is the quotient right So you can say like this. So the Q quotient is 10. Quotient is what 10? And the remainder is 875. Remainder is what? 875. You need to simplify the statements by doing uh, some sequences. So we need to make this as in the form A equals to Q into B plus R. Q equals to B plus R. So how A equals to R to 21, 25, 0 equals to. So Q remainder is what 10 into so here b is what 1250 b is what 1250 plus the remainder is what 875 remainder is what 875 so now see this is the r value remainder this is the b value and this is the quotient value and this is the a value right so now still we are not getting any zero so again what we need to do we need to divide b with r we need to divide b with r so we need to divide b with r so 875 1250 so 875 1250 so you can divide 875 into 1 875 875 so the remainder is what 10 10 minus 5 5 here for 14 minus 7 7 14 minus 7 7 and 11 minus 8 3 11 minus 8 3 so 375 right so 375 is the remainder 375 is the remainder and 1 is the quotient one is the quotient one is the quotient and 12.5 is the a value so you need to make this as a form so 12.5.0 equals to 12.5.0 equals to so 1 into 1 into 875 1 into 875 plus the remainder is what 375 remainder is what 375 so what you need to do again still we are not getting any zero so we need to go for the next step so, so this is the remainder R and this is the B value and this is the Q value and this is the A value, right? So now what you need to do, divide B with R, right? So 375, 875. So 375, 2 is a, what you will get? 750, right? So 750. So 5, 7 minus 5, 2. And uh, here, 1, right? one so this is the remainder this is the remainder and this is the quotient so two is the quotient so we need to reform this statement we need to reform this statement like so a equals to what 875 equals to 875 equals to 2 into 2 into 375 2 into 375 plus 125 is the remainder 125 so what will we get 375 plus 125. So still we are not getting any zero. So we need to divide B with R. We need to divide B with R. So B value is what? 375. So 375 is to be divided with 125. So 125 3 is a 375. Right? 125 3 is a 375. So now you are getting zero as the remainder. Zero as the remainder. The value coefficient value is 3 and this is the A value and this is the B value. So now the statement is what? A equals to 375 equals to 3 into 125. 3 into 125 plus 0. 3 into 125 plus 0. So this is the Q value, this is the B value, and this is the remainder value. So as soon as we'll get a remainder 0, as soon as we'll get remainder 0, the last sequence of the step, the last sequence of the step. 125, 125 is the 
125 is the 125 is the gcd of 125 is the gcd of 1250 comma 21250 21250 like the way you can write here so 125 is the gcd of 1250 comma 21250 so this is the way you can understand the euclidean algorithm so the final motivation of this algorithm is to uh, finding the divisions by doing the sequences and as soon as you will get the remainder is to be zero the last sequence is the greatest common divisor so that is the uh, theorem motivation okay so thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates